What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this tutorial, I want to go over the FPC from FL Studio. The FPC is basically a virtual drum machine that comes stocked with FL Studio and it's like an FL Studio version of the MPC. So the way you load it up here is you can do it one of two ways. You can load it up from your step sequencer. Just right click on one of the channels and scroll down to insert and then you'll get this dialog box that pops up and then you just want to go down to FPC and that'll bring it up and you can also do it by way of the channels menu if you scroll over to the right you'll see FPC right there when you first load it up it has a bunch of stock sounds in it over here you can layer your drums so you can have multiple sounds on one channel stack them up and really get a nice thick sound your content library you can access the content library from ImageLine which is the company that puts out FL Studio. You can just download some drum kits for the FPC. These are just other options here. Your decay, your sustain, your release, and your attack. All this good stuff. This will help you manipulate the sounds. And you can preview it also by clicking this as well. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and empty out all these sounds. The way you'd clear all these sounds out of here is you want to come over here to the top right and you see these left and right arrows. And you can right click on either one. And after you do that you want to click on empty. Okay, so that clears out everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw some elements in here. All right. And then you can just drag them right onto the pad. Left click and just drag it down there. So we got a kick there. Okay, and then this one I'll actually put two of them on there. There we go. So you can see as I put two of them on there, I layer it. So now I got both of them on the same pad. And right here I can tweak out the volume. So um, this one seems to be a little bit louder. So I'll just bring this down just a little bit. Okay, and then I'll bring in a hi-hat, and I'll just put that right there, and we'll layer it with something else. And once you have all your sounds loaded up here, you can save it, so that way you don't have to load them up again. You can just export it, you know, save this, and then when you're ready to load everything up again, come up here, and then you will just load a preset. Right here, this cut by, all right, this is if you have a long bass note, or if you're sampling you know something and you want it to start over and as soon as you hit the key or the pad you don't want it to loop itself so what we're gonna do here on this fourth pad I'm just gonna load up a quick loop Okay. I'm gonna continuously hit on the pad and you're gonna see that it's gonna loop over itself alright that sounds pretty nasty <laughs> so what you gotta do in order to fix that is you wanna come up here to cut and just left click and drag it up to one cut by one and that should do the trick so let me go ahead and hit the pad again yeah you know what I'm saying so now it doesn't loop over itself all right John G signing off become a beatmaker.com join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology